our jury shortly. Uh, can we turn down the music, please? I know. So can you hear me? Okay. I'm being told that I need to speak a little louder, so. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Toy Gallery. I'm happy you're here tonight for our seventh annual jury exhibition. This is such an exciting event. We have just some fabulous artwork here. We're very thrilled to also be partnering with Young Audiences of Houston. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to introduce you to. Um, a couple of people here in just a second. The first thing I wanted to do though is let you know that since we have so many artists here in the gallery today, I wanted to let you know that we do have some live drawing sessions coming up. We have two scheduled for this month. If you want to check out our website, you'll see the dates. So I won't go into any further detail on that. I don't want to take up any more time. But I wanted to uh, just let you know that this particular exhibition had almost 200 entries this year. Very exciting. And of that 200, there were 39 selected. So congratulations to all of you. Beautiful, beautiful show. Part of the exhibition itself is, uh, oh, part of the reason for having the exhibition is, is having a charity partner. We like to um, coordinate with an organization, a local organization, each year. And this year, the recipient of some of the, uh, well, basically, a portion of every sale from this show is going to benefit young audiences of Houston. Mary Britton, excuse me, Mary Mettenbrick. <laughs> I had it right the first time. Um, is the executive director for Young Audiences, and she's here to say a few words. Okay, wonderful. Thank you so much for this opportunity on behalf of our board of directors and staff and the artists that we work with in the community. We are so grateful to be the charity partner. Our organization is 60 years old, and we serve nearly a quarter of a million children across the city. So we provide arts opportunities to those children, and this means a lot to our organization to partner with Archway Gallery and the amazing artists that are um, inspirational, so thank you. We appreciate this. You're welcome. Thank you, Mary. to let you know that on our uh, food table and beverage table you'll see a tip jar the tips go directly to young audiences we will hand that over to Mary at the end of the evening so be generous um, now a little bit about our juror our juror is Mr. Gus Capriva he is collector and gallery owner and uh, He's been a pleasure to work with. I'm not going to spend a lot of time. I would love for him to tell you a little bit more about himself and um, his, uh, his thoughts on the show. Thank you. Uh, first thing I want to ask, is anybody too cold? Come to the light. Anyways, my name is Gus Capriva. And I have a little gallery in the Heights called Red Dot. And uh, I'm honored to be uh, selected as the juror for the show. Uh, I want to thank everyone here for coming. This is an amazing, amazing turnout. Uh, in our shows, we usually have maybe 20 or 30 people. This, this, is, this is really something. Uh, so there's so much, so much support for the art in Houston. Uh, someone, someone asked me about how I go about during the show. And I don't do all that many shows. But if I had it my way, over the 200 entries that were here, I'd put them all in. 
because this is coming from someone like me that doesn't have an ounce of artistic talent in his body. So if I see a few lines on a paper, I'm impressed. So anyways, uh, the entries, all of the entries, prove that this, this area, most of these are used in the lower Texas area, submissions, uh, the, the, the wealth of artistic talent here is uh, getting better and better improving with age. So more and more artists, more and more talent is here. And I had an extremely difficult time uh, selecting the works that I did for, for this gallery. And as I said, I put them all in if I could. And practicality and space uh, uh, forced me to, to, to choose those that uh, connected with my mind at that particular time in that particular place. So bear in mind, if any of you guys be jury, you probably have a completely different show. So this is completely subjective. It's what's in my head. There's no particular theme, no particular uh, medium. It's just what connected with me while I'm walking through looking at the art. So uh, there's no magic to it, but I had a lot of fun doing it because uh, to me it's like, I was mentioning it to someone, it's like Christmas night. <laughs> Opening the presents. There's always a surprise and a fantastic talent that I was not aware of. I've been doing this since before Christ. And, and I, uh, I was pleasantly surprised about the, the growth and the quality of the work. So uh, bear that in mind when you're looking at the show and, and uh, considering what I chose. And I'll mention one more thing before we get into the the uh, announcements of the prizes and I'll mention and so on. One of my mentors, Walter Hopps, who's legendary, founder of the director of the Manil, in the early 60s, he was asked to jury a national show, our country. And everybody sent in their slides and their five bucks. And everybody wanted their work juried by Walter Hopps, one of the greatest minds in America at that time at the Northern Simon Museum. He got boxes and boxes of slides, 4,000 entries. <laughs> entries came from all over the place, even outside the country. And uh, the organizers in San Francisco says, Walter, we need your decision. We need a first place. We need a second place. We need a third place. I don't know mentions. And you can only choose 100 pieces out of thousands. So, Deadline appeared, no Walter, no slides, no decision. Day before, supposed to hang the show. There was a big exhibition hall in San Francisco. They called him, they finally get a hold of him in a bar. <laughs> and he said, well, we need your decision. We got to print the pamphlets and the catalogs and all this. It's an important show. People coming in from all over the place, an important space. And he said, I, Put them all in. <laughs> so uh, the organizer says, no, we don't have the space. He says, I'm Walter Hops. I'm one of the best known art directors in the, in the world. I say, put them all in. I'm doing a show for Marcel Duchamp. <laughs> so I want them all in. So what happened? They put them all in. <laughs> So 4,000 American artists and a few from Europe put on their resume San Francisco exhibition curated and selected by Walter Hobbs. <laughs> <laughs> and they had to rent five additional warehouses to show the work. But they did it. But the, the curious part for being a juror is he was never asked to jury again. <laughs> so let's get on with this. We'll go through the Okay. And by the way, I, I, most of these artists I, that I did not know. I, 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 I'm aware of a lot of the art in Houston, but obviously I didn't know a lot of it. First honor mention is Daniel Brentz. I think you're here when I saw you. And this is all that I know. You've worked, I think, over in the back with it. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
The second honorable mention, in no particular order, by the way, Todd Stevens. Is Todd here? Oh, yeah. The Rose in the Glass, the Yellow Rose. Our mention goes to, oh, you're making me work harder, Keelan Benjamin Wardell. Keelan. Not here. Not here. What's okay. that? You notice we have more than one honorable mention. Because I couldn't make up my mind. Guadalupe Hernandez, and her work is in the back. Next is Brock Gordon. You hear Brock? What? He's coming. To the master. Brock? Congratulations. There's one I forgot to sign. Harold Deacon. Deacon. Harold. Great watercolor. He did the industrial watercolor behind that cowl in the bottom. Beautiful piece. I will mention Terry Crump. Maybe here. I will mention Heidi Straubach. Oh, yeah. Heidi. Yeah. Not that right? Yeah. Marty Simpson. I will mention. Yeah. Last honorable mention, Valerie Randall. Valerie. Okay, third place, Joyce Matula Welch. And a twenty-five thousand dollar prize goes to. <laughs> Second place. This is a little name, name that I can't pronounce. Tamara Contramas. <laughs> And the, uh, the mid -mid. And last but not least, the roll. First place. And this struck a personal note to me. So again, it's all subjective. It's what's in my head, in my mind, what I grew up with. And the first place award, which is uh, $500, and a wall space for show in August at the Archway Gallery, is Michael Horwath. <laughs> and, and Michael did this yet. A large ship off my right, in the window, and a smaller ship in the back. Michael, are you here? Okay. Thank God you don't have to be present to win. Folks, thank you so much for coming. And uh, 
Thank you for the staff and all the players behind this.